140, then 181, then 192. So they will get the total of 848. Total is 848. And next one, find out the sum of x. Find out sum of x, uh, total of second column. That is 1 plus 2, 3, 6, 10, 15. Correct? We get uh, the 15, the sum of x is equal to 15. Next, what information we need? We need x square. So I'll make one column for that. Then I need x to the power 3. So I, I make column for that. And then x to the power 4. Okay. Then x into y. x into y. Then x square into y. last column I'll make for trend values so this one we can fill after all calculation trend values we'll find out first we'll do this table work find out x square x cube x4 and x into y x square into y then last trend values so use calculator and find out all those values First x square 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. 1, then 2 into 8, correct? Not root. 16. 27, 64, tell me if I am wrong, then 125, right, 0, 1, 16, 27, 64 and 125. For this one, 0, 1, 16 into 16. Correct, see the values. So 2 cube is 8. Or 8, three. no? Yeah. So this one is 8 and 27. This one is correct. 64 and 125. Yes, sir. Yeah. Then the power 4. 16. 64. Four into four two fifty six one twenty five into five six twenty five. Cross check whether calculation is right. Okay. Now find out the sum of x square and sum of x cube and sum of x to the power 4. Again, 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25. So this one is 55.
plus 8 plus 27 24 125 this 225 225 1 16 54 sir it's a 81 not 54 which one you have written 54. It's 81. This one, huh? Yeah, sir. 27 into 3. Okay, 81. 1, 16, 81, 56, and 625. The total nine seventy nine correct total the sum of x square fifty five and uh, sum of x cube two twenty five and sum of x the power four nine seventy nine. I hope calculation is correct now. So we'll move into that. Next we need x into y. X into y. So x and y is there, first two column. So 100 into 0, 0, 107, and 128 into 2. 256, then 140 into 3. Four twenty. Next one eighty one into four seven twenty four and twenty four. Next one ninety two. One ninety two into five nine sixty nine six zero. Find out the sum of x into y. 960 plus 724 plus 420 plus 256 and 107. 2467. Correct? Two, four, six, seven. The total of x into y. Next, find out x square into y. So x square is third column x square into y into first column. The values will be big. 100 into 0, 0. 107 into 107. 128 into 128 into 8 1024 140 into 9 1260 181 into 81 into 16, 2896, next 192 into 5, Five. 120, 192 into 25, it's 4800. And so now, 128 into 4, sir. How come 4? See, 192 into x square. Sorry, 128. 128 into 4. 128 into 4. 128 into 4. 512. Okay, 128 into 4. 512. This one, no? 
Yes, sir. Five to twelve. Then one or this one is correct. One fourteen to nine. Yeah, it's correct, sir. One eighty one into sixteen. Sixty or sixteen. Two eight nine six. Okay, that's correct. Now find out the total of that. One not seven. One not seven plus five twelve. Then one two six zero. Eight nine six. Four thousand eight hundred. Is the total nine five? Five seventy five. Seven five. Nine five seven five. Okay. Now we calculated all the required details. We calculated sum of y, sum of x, x square, x cube, x power four, x into y, and x square into y. Now use this equation. Use this equation and simplify it and find out the value of. Yeah. So first, just write down this equation. Just write down this equation. Three equations are there. The first equation, second, and third equation. Now I am just putting those values. Just inserting the values in respective places. So we'll, what equation will get? We'll see. The first equation, the sum of y. First equation is sum of y. Y is equal to any plus b summation of x plus c summation x square. Okay. Is sum of y, sum of y, the sum of y is eight forty eight. So write down eight forty eight, eight forty eight is equal to eight forty eight is equal to n. N means number of years. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six years is given. So six a n a plus b and summation x is fifteen b fifteen or fifteen b will b into fifteen plus c into summation x square. Summation x square is fifty five. Fifty five. Okay. So that is the first equation. Remember, first equation is forty eight equal to six a plus fifteen b plus fifty five c. We are just inserting the values into respective place. In the second equation, second equation. A uh, summation of x y is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square plus c summation x cube. Okay, now write down summation x y x into y is two thousand four six seven two thousand four six seven and a into summation x summation x how much fifteen so fifteen a Fifteen a plus b summation x square b summation x square that means fifty five b fifty five b then c summation x the power three so two twenty five x the power three the sum of five the power three is or two twenty five two twenty five So that will be your second equation. That will be your second equation. And next one, see the third equation. The third equation says summation of x square into y is equal to a summation x square plus b summation x cube plus c summation x to the power four. Writing this summation of x square into y is nine thousand five seventy five is equal to Uh, a summation x the x square that is fifty five a plus b summation x cube or two twenty five b 
then the summation x is 4 that is 979 so third equation just insert the values into this equation so and derive three equations and with this equation we now need to find out the value of a b and so it is very difficult to find out a value of three values with the three equation at a one time so we need to simplify it so how we can simplify first we'll take first equation and second equation to make simplification so we'll take first two equation to eliminate one unknown any one unknown values take two equation and simplify it and eliminate any one unknown values so here taking first and second equation first and second equation we, we can take second equation so if you look at the first equation and second equation uh, 6a and 15a uh, if i want to eliminate uh, this one a constant value 15 so uh, 6 is not equal to any uh, number to 15 so what we can do uh, we can multiply 15 to first equation and we can multiply 6 to the second equation to eliminate a we can uh, what we can do we can multiply uh, 15 to the first equation and 6 to the second equation so i'll write here first equation will be multiplied first equation multiplied by 15 this is the process of simplification so you can follow any method like you can first you can eliminate b uh, that is uh, if I 55 divided by 15, oh, no, okay. So I'm going to eliminate first A. You can eliminate first B, or you can see yeah, eliminate C also. And the second equation will be multiplied by 6. First equation by 15, second equation by 6. We'll see what is the new equation. 848 848 848 into 848 into 15 so it comes like 12720 then 6 into 15 So it is 90A plus 15 into 15. So 225P plus 55 into 15. 825C. Understood? Uh, this one is the third equation. What we did? For the first equation, for this equation, we multiplied by 15. And now, for second equation, multiply 6. 2, 4, 6, 7 into 6. 14,802. The calculation are correct. Then 15 into 6, always 90A. Then 55 into 15, uh, 825 
825B plus 225 into 6. 1350. Okay, now we got this equation when we multiply 15 to the first equation and 6 to the second equation will get this one. We'll find out simplify it minus minus or minus or minus. From um, 12,720 uh, minus 14,802 minus 2,082 and this will be cancelled plus 90A minus 90A and 25 minus 825 600 minus 600 b minus 600 b then 825 minus 130 825 minus 135. We'll get a uh, plus 690.